to use a Mentimeter, you're going to go to Mentimeter.com and uh, you need to create an account. I'm just using the free one. And then I'm already logged in, so I'm going to click on your presentations. And here is the presentation that I used. And in it, I just have two slides. I ended up not using the second one. But I created a slide that allows me to um, have a word cloud. So I'm going to go back to the um, last page just to show you how to start from scratch. So I'm going to do a new presentation. And I'm going to give it a name, create the presentation, and I get to choose what type of slide I want to use. So I used a word cloud, and then I can choose how many entries I want per participant. So do I want them to only allow one word? I think I might have had two on mine, but you can choose how many words you want. Up here is the question, so this would be the prompt that you want to give, and you can um, also add a longer description, which would go underneath, that's kind of smaller. And if you wanted to, you can let participants submit multiple times, but I did not do that. And um, they only get the three entry boxes. You can have a language filter that will um, filter out profanity so you can turn on all of the languages if you want or none or whatever you like. Then I need to go over to customize. Before I do that though, you can add a picture for your prompt. Um, I'm going to go over to customize and I want to make sure closed voting is not checked because I want you to be able to vote. You can choose whether or not you want to hide the instruction bar which is um, up at the top, the go to mentee. I'm going to leave that. And um, hide results. If you don't want people to see the results, you can check that. But with the word cloud, you would want that. And you can add in a background. I think um, for this with the free, you can't add all of those cool features in. So I just left it as a blank white slide. Then when you are ready to present, um, oh sorry, one thing, go up to themes. Themes do allow you, if they don't have a green star by it, um, if they do have, are missing a star, you can choose different colors um, if you, you want. Okay, so now I'm ready to present. I'm going to click present up at the top right of the screen. And this is what I presented to the class. So I wasn't in Google Slides. I think I had a Google Slide open saying go to Mentimeter. But then I ended up just going over and it looked the kind of the same because it was a white background. And people were able to enter things in live. Then when you are done, I'm going to get out of this by pressing Escape. So I had to press Escape on my computer keyboard. Then um, I can choose if I want to, um, I can choose if I want to close it so people can't add things after a particular time. And you can, I'm going to go back to my previous slide, the one that I have done. So you can see I have the word cloud here. Once I've used it, it says, do you want to use this presentation again? So I could reset results. And if I'm using this for multiple class periods, um, then it will get rid of what's here. I could download those results. So I have the words um, later that I could export to Excel or to a PDF. And so I could download just a picture if I want. It's up to you how you want to collect your results if you do want to save them. And then you would just click reset, and then you could use it again. Do note that this code changes. It expires every two days. So before I started today, I had to go in and reset my code because um, cause I put it on my Google Slides that I was sharing. So they were up. Wow, way to go here. So I had it here, but you're going to have to go in and change this every two days. And you might need to change it after you reset the board for a different class period. So be sure to check that. 
but there are lots of different types of slides that you can add and you can only have two questions in the free account so I already have one I'm going to delete it so um, here we go so I added a second question so I can add a different one so with free accounts you can only have two questions at a time on your slide and um, if you wanted to use all of these different options, I might use a different tool. Um, but this is the only tool I know of that does word cloud. But for like some of the open-ended questions or multiple choice, you might use something like Socrative or Quizzes or um, Nearpod or Pear Deck.